What's up, Dusty? Hey, anyone? Any hill? Not bad. Abyssinia. It leads to Abyssinia. Here I come, you sexy little boffy. Hello. Hi, yeah. Sorry, I come in peace. I'm a vegetarian. So, guys, I've finally made it to my destination, Abyssinia. Give you a wee look around. It's a biting wind. I reckon it's going to get down to what? The minus one tonight. I think when I looked at the forecast for Arica, it was like 2 Celsius, but you know, you're higher up here, away from the coast. And again, that, that is a terrifying wind, absolutely freezing. I've not checked the weather forecast, there might be more snow forecasted. Oh, there's snow. Also, met a couple. That's Matt. Say hi, Matt. There's going to be between, anything between 500 to 3,000 people that are going to see your face. <laughs> Sadly, I need to mute this part because one of the boys has his music playing and I don't want to get done for copyright infringement. But yeah, these group of boys were from Middlesbrough, with one of them living in Edinburgh. They were only both in for the one night, and we have the Polish couple over for 10 days. And one thing that I do need to improve on and spice up is my food choice. Again, just going for the plain old Bombay potato with rice. But one thing that I would thoroughly recommend as well is the Jet Boil Stove. Lightweight, compact and it is super quick at boiling both food and water. It's a bit expensive though. Got my usual setup, the OEX Fulcrum Thermally Insulated Sleeping Mat, the Douter Exosphere sleeping bag, the OEX pillow and a new introduction to the team and that's the Belgium bivy bag made of Gore-Tex. So what are you having? Uh -huh. What noodles are you having? What flavour? This is peanut butter with crackers and this is tomato soup. Pretty uh, good. Tomato soup? Tomato. With noodles? Yeah, with noodles. See, I'm having tomato soup with rice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have some what is it? veggie bacon. Uh, hopefully, that will bump an hour and a half or so. Get an idea what it's like coming inside during the day. 
So I'm having my spicy tomato and lentil soup with rice and I'm making these guys vegetarian bacon which I've never tried before. I'm hoping they'll enjoy it because they've never tried brown sauce as well. Don't know how you can get by in life without brown sauce. It's not the greatest of wood. But it will slowly cook. Did you try the veggie bacon? Uh, I haven't. Did you try the brown sauce? The brown sauce? So, I haven't. Should I mix it with bacon? Oh yes. Brown sauce, well, right. brown sauce and bacon is like the thing. In Scotland it's like the greatest thing. Veggie bacon, brown sauce, does the job. Oh yes, not get any rolls, but brown sauce will do the trick. Oh. And if you want an idea what it's like when it's clean and tidy. Right, all good to go. Yeah. Just going to show them the bedroom. Oh, the bedroom's closed. I'm assuming it's for because it's winter. So I'm going to. Oh. Matt, I'm going to see the bedroom. You, ah, Matt, yeah, I can get it though. <laughs> Cheers. Sure. I've just not had a chance to show them it yet. We've got bunk beds. Some kind person has left covers. Inflatable beds. Don't know if that, this one here is busting up. But again, it's only this um, compartment that's open. The one next door is closed, I'll show you in a second. Good evening. Less well, sauce for cutting wood. But as you can see, that one's got a padlock on it. My assuming once it's summer and it's busier season, they'll open that one. No point in keeping both open. But yep, we had a bit of snow last night. Didn't amount too much. A few blizzards so far, but again the ground's a bit too warm. The yeah, temperature's a bit too warm for it to actually properly lie. Not looking forward to crossing that river. Oh yeah, and this tree here, apparently it's planted to keep the evil spirits away. So it advised not to cut at it. Well, it actually keeps evil spirits away. Is another question. I don't personally believe in it, but. It's just advised not to cut at it. Um, so there's a deeper part of the burn further down. These guys are trying to find a more shallow narrow part to cross to get to our side, but it's a dead end for them. I can't remember if I said it in the previous video, but these two guys just get engaged the night before. Is it is ahead in Fort William. Just going to drop these guys off at Fort William. Well, I'm not going to Fort William, no. but I'll drop these off on the way. Just going to drop off yeah. at Tindrum. They're going to experience the Green Welly. Do you know what the Green Welly is? No. It's like um, Disney for tourists. Okay. It's like, Disney uh, for tourists, but come on, we're not that. that tourist people. <laughs> it's like it's a, a Scottish so shop. Uh huh. It's a very touristy shop. So I'll drop okay. these off there. Alrighty. I took the guys to the rest and be thankful, and they're ultra impressed. 
Is that them getting a wee selfie together? No, he's taking a video. But remember, these guys just get engaged. Alison Matthias. Hopefully I can meet up with them next weekend with a wild camping experience. So we've exchanged information and contact information. And I said, don't worry guys, I'll bring my spare tent and whatnot and make it an absolute belt of an experience. Oh, look at that, that's cute. That's cute. I thought, seeing as well that I'm taking them to Tindrum, I would uh, let them see Falls of Falloch. And they are majorly impressed. One of my finest wild swims. Well, if you can see the little rainbow to the left of the bottom hand corner of the waterfall. And then they're down there. 